star receiver Allen Robinson of the Chicago Bears. Allen, thank you so much for being with us this morning. How y'all doing? Thanks for having me. Good, good to have you with us. All right, a lot to dive into. We want to start here with the quarterback situation, obviously making the change over the last 24 hours. How are you feeling about the change as a pass catcher, knowing that you're now catching passes from Nick Foles? Well, you know, um, going into training camp, you know, Coach made the decision, you know, uh, coming out of training camp as far as who's going to be the starter. You know, so for us, you know, we believe in Coach Nagy. You know, we always have, you know. So on um, whatever decision he make, you know, as a team, we support it. We're going to rock with it. You know, we're going to make best of the situation. You know, again, I mean, we started two games down, you know, in the fourth quarter, man, but to pull those out. And, you know, right now we're sitting at 3-0. and So we're just trying to continue to get better each and every week, man, and try to make this offense go. You know what? We look at the team. First of all, appreciate you being on the show, bro. We look at this team right now. You're three and zero. Obviously, we, we everybody believes in the defense, but y'all struggled a little bit last year. We know that Trubisky was in the eye of the storm in that regard. So much was made, speculatively, I might add, about the effect that the inconsistencies on the offensive side of the ball, particularly because of the quarterback, was having on this team. Was that overblown? Is that overblown? Or is it something that no longer is a concern for y'all because it's Nick Foles and we're moving on up from here? You know, at the end of the day, it's never on one person, you know, no matter what the circumstances are. You know, it's always plays that we leave out there as a unit, you know, um, up front, O-line, receivers, backs, and all that, you know. So, again, throughout this whole course of this offseason, we've been trying to, you know what I'm saying, reconfine and re-energize this offense and, and figure out how we can be the best that we can be. You know, so right now, you know, Nick came into the game last week. You know, we were able to make some plays. We were able to push the ball down the field a little bit, you know, and then and then a coach came out and made that decision, you know, and this week we're trying to just, just pick up where we left off at. But in terms of the athlete eyeball test, you know, you hear players talk about other players, that guy's a baller, that guy's not. And, you, and I understand your, your kind of team-oriented answers. But the Bears have had the worst luck trying to draft and develop quarterbacks. My whole lifetime, I'm 47. They never seem to get that right. And in Nick Foles, you have a guy who some people see as just, he has this special ability in crunch time. But I see a dude who balled at Arizona, who balled with the Eagles, who balled with the Eagles again when he had a chance. I think he's actually a really good player. What does the, your kind of athlete eyeball test say about Nick Foles as a quarterback? Yeah. You know, he's a Super Bowl winner. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, and I think the plays that you've seen him make, you know, throughout the course of his career, like you're saying, you know, in big games, in big moments, you know, I think that's what, you know, makes him him. You know, again, he's never afraid at any moment at all. You know, he's no, he doesn't fear a defense. He doesn't fear anything. You know, when he come in there, he's running the show. You know, and again, I think that's what makes him special. Alan, let me ask you this. A lot's been made about your contract situation. I know you're playing in the final year of the, uh, your deal. Where do things stand with getting a new deal done for you? <laughs> You know, um, things 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 stand, you know, as far as uh, I mean, I don't have a deal right now. But at the end of the day, you know, for me, I'm just trying to ball. You know, that's what uh, the most important thing for me, you know, is, is is just continue to play well, you know, lead this team, be the best receiver I could be, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, keep making plays and then whatever happens, happens. Man, I don't have no questions for you. All I got is a statement. Keep that attitude and keep doing what you're doing. Get your money. Get your money. <laughs> I I appreciate that. And no damn question. Get that man his money. Pay him. <coughs> the NFC North got now more interesting yeah. with the addiction, addition of Nick Foles to me with you guys because you've had a defense and you've had some interesting pieces and people were even whispering the Bears might represent the NFC a couple years ago in the Super Bowl and then Nick Foles got to Soldier Field and did his thing and elevated them. Considering the way the Packers are playing, the Vikings have started out slow, but you can see on paper they got a good team. What are your thoughts about your division right now? You know, um, first and foremost, you know, um, on my team is that I don't think that the confidence in ourselves have never wavered. You know, again, I mean, the last two seasons prior to this year, we had 120 games. We know that we got the players in the locker room, you know, to to get to the playoffs, to win our division. And we know we have that, you know, and then this year starting off three and oh, you know, we want to just continue to do, you know, what we do. But at the end of the day, you know, the most important thing for us is to win a division, you know, and we feel like we can do that. You know, um, again, we've done that before two years ago and we feel like we could do it again. All right. Looking forward to watching you guys against the Colts. That should be interesting. Philip Rivers trying to make it four and oh, Alan Robinson. Thank you for the time today, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, all right, I want to stay with this subject, guys. Tell me this. Obviously, we keep saying the record. Bears are 3-0. We got a bunch of teams that are like your Steelers, Stephen A. 
Are you buying this team, though, to actually make a run and do something? I, I'm buying them because I think that Minnesota has struggled. I think we've learned a lot more about Kirk Cousins. I think that we look at Matt Patricia, and I know they just won a game, but the bottom line is we don't believe in the Detroit Lions. We just don't. I mean, they're perpetual losers, and he hasn't changed that, that mantra about them at all. When it comes down to Chicago, the weather's going to get uglier and nastier. And as a result, you're not going to see prolific offenses coming into Soldier Field. Crowd or no crowd is going to be about that defense. And I think if you have a quarterback that's capable of making plays for you and keeping you in the game by minimizing the mistakes, I think that makes Chicago formidable, particularly as the season wanes and inclement weather sort of invades the National Football League. That's why I believe that they're going to their defense and the fact that they're not going to have a mistake-prone offense. I think the combination of the two things helps them. If it wasn't for Aaron Rodgers showing that he's still Aaron Rodgers, I would like the Bears now that they have Foles. Um, and and I, what, I, what I asked Allen Robinson, I, I'll go back to that. If you took the Bears a couple years ago, when Nick Foles beat them on the road. Remember, the Eagles weren't going to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Then Carson Wentz gets hurt, and then Nick Foles galvanizes, as you always say, the team. They make the playoffs. They go to Soldier Field. The Bears are one of the favorites come out of the NFC and beat them. And then they go to New Orleans and almost beat the Saints, right? If you put Nick Foles on that Bears team, maybe they do make the Super Bowl that year. So I like the Bears a lot with Nick Foles at quarterback right now. I think the real question, as Stephen A. pointed out yesterday and today, Will he physically hold up till the end of the season? That's Ideally, this yeah. happens in week 10 or week That's 12. Well, no question. I viewed Nick Foles as coming in after week 9 or 10 yeah, and taking day. over. I, didn't, I think this is entirely too early for him from a durability. That standpoint. shoulder and clavicle the are the season. issue. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.